liked Michael Kors for a long time and I didn't realize how much I have in my collection of Michael Kors, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. And today is all about Michael Kors. But first, let me show you a couple of things I've got in the mail. And, uh, well, one thing I got in the mail and one thing I got at the store. Thank you to my... <laughs> I won a giveaway from Melissa's Corner. And I, the, what's funny about this is I won a Christian Dior... I won this from Nancy Cardis <laughs> not too long ago. I thrifted a pink uh, beauty pouch and I'll point a, put a picture up here and I already sold it but then now I have won another beauty pouch <laughs> of Christian Dior. It's just a cute little thin uh, cosmetic or whatever pouch that I could use in this like linen color so thank you Melissa. <laughs> Melissa and Dee Dee seem to do lives. I'll link both of them down below and Nancy. So I got a question right and I got in a drawing and so I won an, a beauty pouch <laughs> from Christian Dior again. Um, the other thing is I have been trying perfumes. So we went on this past weekend to Kohl's which has a Sephora inside. I, one of my wish lists uh, slash goals that I did that video not too long ago was to find another scent, another perfume that I could throw in with my light blue. I have body sprays and I like those too from, you know, Bath and Body Works, but I wanted another signature scent for me. So I smelled so many perfumes. <laughs> I mean, I, I smelled the Gucci, I smelled... Prada, I smelled the new Dolce & Gabbana Devotion, I smelled all kinds and the one that I, it was on a lower shelf, the one that I ended up liking, the the representative there at the store was like, well maybe you'll like this and it's in the cutest bottle but for now I just have, I bought this size and it's the Carolina Herrera Good Girl and blush and I'll put a picture up here of the bottle that this comes in I mean I like packaging but it had to have, I didn't care about the packaging of all these bottles I just want it to smell good and man this smells good and if you put three or four or five sprays maybe you could go with three this stuff lasts um, but yeah it's just a little travel to see if I like it and I do so if you're in a place like Sephora or Ulta try the good girl blush version there's other versions too but this one smells good and it's a pink <laughs> as I showed you that picture a pink high heel spray bottle so super cute and they even have little mini high heel package but Anyway, this smells good, but the packaging is cute, so I might have found my spray. Now on to the Michael Kors. As you might already notice, I have a Michael Kors shirt on. <laughs> so I tried to find all the Michael Kors that I could remember that I had. And it's, you know, this shirt, I have two or three accessories and four purses. And so I thought, you know, I've never done my Michael Kors collection, so why not this video? So I'll start out with uh, an accessory. I've had this belt for a long time. Let me twirl it up here. And my favorite print of his is the darker with the MKs. But yeah, it has, you know, this... This part had some dangle thing that was really annoying. So uh, my husband took that off for me, but 
I love this belt. I haven't worn it in a long time. It has uh, gold inside. Yeah, it's a comfortable belt. I just, I have other belts that I use and there's the Michael Kors. But I, I just honestly am in loungewear more than anything anymore <laughs> because I'm a stay at home mom, reseller, you know, I'm doing this, doing the home thing. So why not be comfortable, right? <laughs> I mean, I dress up sometimes, but so that's my first Michael Kors is my belt. And then I remembered, oh, I bought this off the secondhand market. It's my gold flower bag charm. <clears throat> and on the back it says Michael Kors right there. Super pretty gold. I, I really like flowers a lot and so I think this is kind of similar to the flower on Chanel almost, but this is just a Michael Kors pretty gold flower charm. So there's that one. <clears throat> this other one is a full size wallet, which are those ever gonna come back? Let me know if you still used a, use a full size wallet. <laughs> I tend not to use them anymore. I don't wanna get rid of this. This is the full-size wallet I got for oh probably four or five six years ago and again it's that same print with the dark brown and has the gold plate that has some scratches but I just don't use big wallets anymore and so I have a hard time and uh well mostly my bags are small but <clears throat> there's the Michael Kors a quick the zipper's nice this has been used a lot when I did buy it, but here's the interior. A lot of card slots, as we all know. Really, I mean, I do like wallets that hold everything. I don't like having a coin case, then a card case, and then a bill compartment. I'm kind of over that. I like, I want a, a smaller wallet, but can hold my cards, cash, coin. Anybody else out there like that? I'm kind of lazy switching out my bags, accessories. Because <laughs> I switch them out so much that I just have a hard time switching all the, all the things. <laughs> I'm probably not alone, am I? And I bought this probably last uh, summer, I believe. And uh, see, it's a small wallet but it has a slot in the back and then one two three four five card slots again i this is my favorite print the the darker print that he has with the michael kors i can move my finger <laughs> and then it has the coin slot not that i carry that much coin but i love this little card holder it's in the the coated cotton and then the brown leather right here that's my, I guess, card wallet, and I like that it has everything right there. Now, you can't carry a ton of cash or a ton of coins, but this works. On to the bags, and I'm going to go from the one that I've had the longest to the newest. Okay, this is my Medium Lita, L-I-T-A, and this video when I bought this and unboxed it and reviewed it or whatever I did I can't remember it had so many views um this is one of my top viewing videos I guess people wanted to know how it opened or you know how it was like what it was like and you know it has the back pocket it doesn't have any feet on the bottom and it has the again I like the MK with the dark brown <clears throat> they had these Litas with pink here. They had a brown, but I liked the black. I think it just looks very classy. And this chain on here is very cool. And it's just very understated Michael Kors, unless you're... Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not that understated. <laughs> but I feel like the darker brown is understated more. And I like this little little charm that it has. It matches my 
shirt charm. <laughs> but <clears throat> this one, it's a great bag. It's a little dressy, so I tend to wear it when I'm dressing up a little bit more. And here is the black strap, the leather strap, what it came with. And it just has the two compartments and then a, it has a card slot right in the middle part there. And then it also has a front slot where you can put a card. If I wanted to put this up front, it could just go right there. So easy grab your wallet and get out. <clears throat> but this is a really pretty bag and I've carried it multiple times and it's it's a beauty. It really is pretty in person too. And these are found on the secondhand market. So if you're looking for one, you I wouldn't pay more than a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> um, because I think I paid around that. And then they had multiple sizes, so they had a smaller one than this, but this is the medium. So if you're looking for this bag, this is the medium Lita. So that's my first one. I believe the order is this. <laughs> this is the uh, extra small Kareen bag. And in this, this beautiful maroon burgundy color, it's coming up a little bit, uh, a little brighter than what it is. It's more of a muted. Let me go back here and see. It's more like that color back here. I don't put anything up here. <laughs> it's just a cute little top handle to me. It has a tiny little back pocket, <clears throat> no feet. I believe the original Kareen bags had feet on the bottom. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it has this gorgeous, this is the soft, it's soft pebbled leather. They're having a sale currently on, and I believe they have an extra small Kareen bag on the website so you might check it out and it is the pebbled leather and it's really soft I mean it's it's good quality and I didn't pay that much for it <clears throat> here is the strap which really it, it this size of strap goes perfect because this is a small bag but here is the interior it's a beautiful tan interior where you can see your things I just looked at the color, it is Mulberry. So if you're interested in this one, it's the extra small Kareen and the color is Mulberry. I believe this is the next one that I bought, I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is the Edith bag. It's small satchel and it's in a leather that I don't necessarily love, but I love this one. Not all Safiano leathers are made equally. I don't like coaches, but some reason this one I am okay with. And the color of this Edith is called Sun. <laughs> and it has beautiful gold hardware. I always like his hardware. It's really nice. Got these little cute details of the, look like little pyramids on the front. Very small Michael Kors. Here's the back, it has those same little handle th parts. <clears throat> it does have feet on the bottom. And how this one is, it has the diagonal strap inside where you put your crossbody strap. Has two sides that are magnetic on both sides, have a zipper and then a slip. And then the middle zip here, this is the strap that comes with it. And that there's that gorgeous tan interior. Honestly, I wish all bags had a light interior because when you have a dark hole, it's hard to find your stuff. So I really do appreciate a light lining inside. If you're looking for this one, it is the small Edith and the color sun. Okay, this last one I got my initials on, which I'm kind of regretting, I'm not gonna lie here. It is a pebbled leather. I just found my Coke Lip Smacker. I've been looking for this. Okay, so again, I got it with my initials. They're not done 
exactly straight but back here you can't tell so it's my initials and it has the small Michael Kors right here and this right here is called Jet Set Charms phone cross body and of course pebbled leather here and the color is wild berry now this bag is really a gorgeous fuchsia pink and it has where your iphone 15 pro max does fit in here i'll just demonstrate in case you're curious about it so it does fit inside but yeah, it has that back snap pocket. It's kind of a grab and go. But look at the glazing on this. I typically get really good quality from Michael Kors. Now I know that not all of it is. And even their older leathers that they have, they're really nice quality. Um, and I don't have any issues with this bag. Let me show you the inside. and It has the front pocket a zipper pocket and then it has even card slots back in here and then a lot of card slots on this side it's just it looks just like a it's a wallet on chain basically but instead of a chain it's a leather strap it's a cute bag I just wish I wouldn't have gotten my initials because I just feel like they got in a rush maybe but it's still cute it fits me crossbody. Again, this is the color Wild Berry. And it's called the Jet Set Charm Small Phone Crossbody. <clears throat> so, a lot of these things you can find on Mercari, eBay, Poshmark. And I don't have anything bad to say about any of these. I, I've liked Michael Kors on and off throughout my 20s and 30s and now. I don't buy a lot of them, but when I do, I mean, I have to really like it. And I don't want necessarily one of the bags that are not really the the leather. They're more the polyurethane leather. So I'm a little bit pickier when it comes to Michael Kors, but they have some really nice bags. And a lot of times at TJ Maxx, they'll have a lot of Michael Kors. So yeah, I just wanted to share what I had and... Uh, I haven't worn this shirt in a long time, but it's a navy blue with a gold zipper. So anyway, uh, thank you for stopping over and seeing my collection. And if you enjoy handbags, crossbody satchel, bucket, shoulder, hobo, any kind of bags, then you need to subscribe. <laughs> Hit that bell for future notifications and give me a big thumbs up. And tell me, do you own Michael Kors? And uh, what's your favorite Michael Kors accessory or bag that you have? Or tell me if you like any of mine, then that's fine too. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you and thank you for subscribing. I have a lot of new people that have come aboard. So I appreciate you. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.